In this screencast, we're going to demonstrate working with dialogues in Android. What we're going to cover here is dialog built-in dialogues that Android provides for us. In particular, we're going to look at just a simple alert dialog that pops up and requests the user to confirm with a yes or no. And then we're going to look at a choice dialog that requests the user to pick one of several options. All right, so let's build a uh, simple Android app that displays different types of dialogues here. So we'll call this our uh, dialog demo. And the first thing we'll do is go down into our uh, main layout here and add a few buttons and we'll have these buttons uh, pop up dialogues. So if we go down here, all right so there's our uh, layout. Let's add some buttons. Now we'll start with one. And um, let's do an alert dialog. And what we want to do here is show a dialog. So I can say my activity show dialog, and then I need to give it an ID. And so I'll just say alert dialog. And then I want to come up here and say and so that will cause it to show but I still need to add some logic to actually do the creation of the dialogue associated with that ID so I need to override the onCreate dialogue method so I'll go over here and we'll go to onCreate dialogue right here and what we'll do is a switch statement here because eventually we're going to have multiple ones so we're going to multiplex on the ID that we're passed and we want to check for alert dialog and let's do this So we need to create the actual dialog, and we're doing an alert. So let's do a uh, um, let's use that builder object that we uh, um, looked at before. So I'm going to put I'm going to have multiple ones here. So let's just put a builder out here. Um, so there's our builder, and we're going to create that by calling its constructor. And then we're going to go ahead and add um, the attributes we're interested. So we'll do a message there's my message and we need to set some button handlers on here so we'll do the positive button and we want to add a uh, handler here so we're going to say dialog interface and we want to do an on click listener and we want to do a toast 
if they hit the button just to give some uh, feedback. And we need to go um, and then the actual message. And then we'll add, whoop, I don't want that semicolon yet. Then we'll add a negative button. And we'll do the same thing here. And in this case, what's this complaining about? Oh, I forgot the length parameter. Okay, there's three pieces of data on toast. All right, so then I've done the same thing here, and uh, I'll do my cancel here. Uh, so dialogue is actually what's getting passed in, the dialogue that was acted upon here. And then the last thing we'll do is set that cancelable to false. And then we can say dialogue equals builder dot create. And then we need to break out. Okay, everybody with me so far? All right, let's just try to run Oops, we still got an issue. All right, so let's try to run this one. All right, so there is my button. Okay, if I try to back out of here, can't do it. If I say yes, it does the one event. If we do no, oops, I cut and paste. <laughs> so it gave me the same thing here. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that's one uh, type of, of dialogue. Uh, let's do another one, um, a slightly different style dialogue. Uh, We'll add another button here. And what did I do? Okay, so we'll come in here. Go down to the text. I'm just going to go there. All right, so we're going to have a second type dialogue and we'll add a button handler for that So that should pop up the button, and what we can do is come down here and add another case. And I want to do a little bit different one uh, here. What we want to do is show how we can use an alert to basically put up a, um, a, a choice of, of of different data selections. So one of the things I'm going to do, oops, there we go, is I'm going to put some data up here. So I'm going to create an array of these uh, char sequences.
and nice all. So this is the data that I want to use in my dialog, and what I can do is I can create a um, a new dialog here. Um, similarly, so I'll use that same builder, and I'm going to set the title and. Uh, I can take this data that I just defined up top and put that on there and then I can put when each individual one of these is selected I can actually um, put a toast in here so I can say something like uh, Let's just do a uh, and I need to reference and the which is actually what's telling me which of the items was actually selected from in the dialog and then we'll do a duration short And then once again, I got to do my dialog equals builder create. Okay, so let's try that one. Okay, so now it puts up these, and if I pick one. It basically grabs the event and generates the toast based on the data that we we just picked.